Shalom friends, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can configure a uh, disclaimer within your Exchange Online organization. When I say disclaimer, let's say for instance you require to apply a disclaimer text whenever users send emails either internally to one another or externally to external users. So the way you configure disclaimer is you use Microsoft 365 Exchange Online Admin Center. You need for us to be logged in uh, either as a global administrator. I just recommend that you just log into your tenant as a global administrator just to avoid the other role based uh, stuff. So I'll quickly launch Exchange Online Admin Center. And then head over to mail flow, then select roles. As you can see, I got no any uh, roles that I've created within my Exchange Online. So to create the disclaimer role, I just need to click the plus sign and then choose apply disclaimers. There are a couple of different disclaimer rules that you can create. As I told you, you can create one that is applied whenever users send emails internally to one another or externally. So for this one, just to show you how it works, I'll work for the one that uh, for users internally within our Exchange Online environment. So I'll just give it a name and call it internal disclaimer and then choose and then choose the recipient is located and then you select um, inside organizations you can see we have many options there either inside the organization outside the organization for mails that are flowing outside our extension line environment and we have in an external partner organization. So for instance, if you have configured federation between your exchange online with another uh, organization or partner uh, exchange uh, environment, you can select that one. And then we have the last one, which is an, uh, in an external non-partner organization. So as you can see, we have four options that we can apply, but for our case, we'll just go with inside the organization and then choose OK. And then from here, uh, we do the following, append the disclaimer that, and then we need to add the text. So I have a custom short text that I had created for this tutorial, so I'll just copy it and paste it there. You can create your own disclaimer that you feel is the best. I just leave a space there and then press that and then I can call it internal here give it just a typical title for it and then give, select OK and then as you can see we have we have something else here and fall back to action we select that one to choose we need to wrap it we have three options we can either ignore or reject so I'll go with wrap and then choose OK and then I save that rule. Okay, once the rule is created, as you can see, we have uh, a checkbox here. So I can either disable it by just unchecking that checkbox or re enable it by checking that checkbox again. And on the left, Pen, you can see you can read just a, you have a summary of what the uh, role is as you can see it's if the message is sent to inside the organization for users within our exchange online environment and then we have do the following append the disclaimer and the message within our disclaimer is that one and room mode is enforced so we need now to test it. So I'll just send an email uh, to a user within my Exchange Online environment. So, okay, let me just launch Outlook. 
So quickly just to show you the, the users whom I have within my within my Office 365 environment, I have just two users whom I had created. So I have this one. So I'm, I'm currently logged in at this one. This is the global administrator bunny, the whole bunny holdings. And then we have Wycliffe, which is a test user. So this is the user whom I'm going to test with. So in my Outlook, send item I send him an email so you just grab the email address and send an email to weekly there test email test disclaimer email and then send as you can see the email is already sent is the email so I've just emailed that user weekly the other user within my office 365 environment so let me just log in as weekly and show you how the disclaimer will look like in his account there's that email address there Okay, as you can see from the user's uh, inbox, we have that test disclaimer email and the disclaimer message is here. So guys, that's how a uh, disclaimer rule works within Office 365 extension line. And uh, if guys you found this uh, video helpful, just do like and subscribe. And uh, if you need assistance as well further, so you can just drop uh, your queries in the comments below and I will be happy to assist you. Okay, bye bye.